we've talked about John's versatility as a driver, how he could seemingly get in anything and be fast. 1993 season, for example, John drove an Indy car, NASCAR, an NHRA top fuel car, and plenty of other vehicles while being a prototype sports car ace before going full-time NASCAR. Mario, did that versatility that he showed bring back any memories for you in your younger days when you were racing sprint cars and champ dirt cars and F1 and IndyCar all at the same time? I think it all comes down to the love of driving, love of driving a race car. And uh, I always felt that there was a a very special challenge, a lot of satisfaction to be able to move around the the, the disciplines, uh, you know, to some degree. Sometimes, uh, uh, you know, in his situation, he was was forced to do it. You know, if something was going on here, he was not going to sit home and he went on to something else, but he adapted quickly. I don't know if there's any formula for that. Looking at his versatility aspect, I mean, it's second to none, you know, really. Uh, You look back at, of course, you know, uh, you know, you're not going to see too many drivers today drive a sprint car and then go and and drive a sports prototype car. I mean, Jared is probably the last one that's going to be doing that, you know, (laughs) but... uh, uh, with us, it was a normal thing to do, and uh, it all comes down to just love and passion. That's what drives it all, and um, he certainly had that. He showed that. I was jealous that he was uh, able to experience 300 miles an hour in the top fuel, you know, which I never... Uh, you know.